Hey friends, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. If this is your first time here, a Throwback Thursday means the project we made on Monday with the Cricut, we're going to turn that something different on Thursday. So this past Monday we made this really pretty spring card. The flower here is done with foil. The happy spring greeting is done using the Cricut markers. We also did the inside of the card with that small flower again with a Cricut pen. So we're going to take that card and turn it into this really fun treat box. So we still have the flower with the foil in the front, happy spring, and then the, the other flower, we have it going all the way around the box. All right, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. Here we are at the computer. I'm already inside Cricut Design Space on the welcome screen. I'm going to go right below where it says Explore More and click on Spring Inspired. And then go down until you see Cards from the Garden and then find the simple Thank You Floral card. I'm going to click on that. This will bring up a preview window. Very bottom, choose Customize. So we have the card base as well as the envelope. The envelope piece, all I want here is the flower. So I'm going to click on that, right click and choose detach, then delete the envelope. We can move our flower aside. Do the same for the card base. Right click on that and choose detach. Take the flower off. Go back, right click again and choose detach. This time take the score mark off as well as the word thank you. Highlight both of those. We can delete those. I do want to resize this to have it selected for the very top toolbar where the size is. I'm going to unlock the lock and make this piece be 8.5 and the height is going to be 5.5. Left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on shapes and a square. I'm going to change the color of this to be white and I'm going to resize this. So again at the top toolbar, I'm going to unlock the lock, make the width here be 1.5 and the height is going to be 3. Now this piece, these two flowers are both set to floral. This one I'm going to choose pen, so I have it selected. Go to the upper left hand corner under operation and I will change that to pen. This one I will leave set to foil. But I want to bring this one over here, so I'm going to right click on that and choose bring to front. And I'll just bring this over and I will resize it to fit in this piece here. I do want to add text below that. Left hand side toolbar, click on the text box. I'm going to type in the words happy spring and I'm going to do it on two lines. I'm going to change this to have a writing style. So to do that, upper left hand corner right below font, click on that down arrow. Go to the far right, click on the filter and you're going to change that to writing. In the search box, I'm going to type in the word rubber. I want to use the rubber ducky font, which is right there. I want to bring this over, use the handles to resize it to fit inside this piece here. I'm going to go a little bit smaller, maybe down. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Highlight both of these pieces, go to the upper, the top toolbar, click on a line. Second one down is center horizontally. So they're centered. I'm going to right click on those now and choose attach. So this piece will use the foil for the flowers and the marker for the pen or the, the words. This piece will also use the marker. So I'm going to change the color of that and make that be a raspberry color. And this piece I'll make be white. Right, so I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to right click on that and choose bring to front. I want to duplicate this a bunch of times. So good to do that, go to your far right toolbar under the layers panel and you will see the plus sign. And just keep on hitting duplicate until you have enough flowers. What we're going to do here is fill this whole piece in with these flowers. And we're going to have the Cricut draw for us to make our own pattern paper. I'm going to bring them over. You want to have some pieces, um, you want to have them go different directions so you're not creating a pattern. You also want to have them go off the paper a little bit as well. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit too many over here. All right, so once you're happy with that, you want to highlight everything. Then right click on that and choose attach. Right, so now we have our piece of cardstock with the Cricut. It's going to draw all these out in pen. And then this again will down here will be foil with the marker. All right, upper right hand corner, click on make it. So because this one's using foil, I'm going to bring this one to the far bottom of my mat. This one will, so you can see the order, pen, which so it'll do the pen first here, the pen down here, then do the foil for the flower, then cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and choose continue. I'm going to find my machine and I will choose my material type. All right, so I'm going to choose medium cardstock, and I do like always changing my, changing my pressure from default to more. And again, the order will be pen first, 
You can always see it here. Coming up, it'll be the black pen or whatever color pen you want, the foil, whatever color you want, and then again, the fine point blade. I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these out, go to the table, and we'll put our project together. All right, everything is cut out, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our paper, and we're gonna bring in our trimmer, and we're gonna score this. So this is a two, four, six, eight box, so we're gonna score at two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight. So there's two, four, six, and then eight. I'm gonna flip it around this way and score it at two inches. So it's two inches on the long side. Let's get that lined up. Okay, and we will score that. All right, we're done with that. Now take your bone folder. Or first go ahead and finger press all the score marks. Then we'll go back in with our bone folder and give that a nice crease. And you can make this be taller if you want to, versus five and a half. What I want to do is take my scissors and we're going to cut on these score marks all the way up. And on this bottom one, this half inch one, we're going to remove that piece. So now it looks like that. Then the flap, I'm going to miter that. Just go in on a little bit of an angle. Okay, we can set that aside. I'm going to flip it over and put some adhesive on that piece, that flap. And I'm just using my ATG for this. Fold this down and fold this over and they should line up. So there's our box. Now we're going to take the bottom and just put them on the top of each other. So I'm going to grab my glue. Alright, so I'm going to put adhesive on one of them and then bring one down on top of that one. Put adhesive on this one. Bring this one down. Just making sure it stays a square. I'm going to put adhesive on this one. So my last one, I am going to go a little bit heavier. Bring this one down, and then go in there, and just press with your bone folder. Okay, now you can see where the seam is. So I can see my flap is right there. So I'm going to have that piece be in the back. So all we're going to do is just basically squish this together, just like that. A crazy little box. All right. So now we're going to take this piece. We're going to glue that down to the front. I apologize, there's an airplane going over. Because this is going on a curved surface, I am using a good amount of glue. So that's going to go right there. Okay, then this piece that we fooled, we're going to pop it up. I did not bring in any twine with me to close this box up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some. And I'm gonna go five, even though this is a little piece. I don't want it to sag in the center. So give them a squish, take the backings off of all these. Okay, we're gonna put this on there. I love that little bit of sparkle that the foil gives it. Okay. All right, so I do have my big bite in here. Let me go and grab that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this close, make sure it's even, okay, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in it in the middle, just like that. I'm going to take some yarn. You're going to take it through the back. I'm going to create a loop because I only did one hole 
You can, of course, do two if you want to. You can also close this up with a clothespin as well. So take this, give it a squish, like that. And at the very top, I'm going to tie this into a little bow. That way it kind of stays closed on us. Isn't that cute? So very simple little box. And if you don't want to do all the pens in Cricut Design Space, just cut yourself a piece of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. You can use stamps to decorate it. All right, I'm going to flip these off. And then we have a super cute little box. Isn't that adorable? So we took the card, which is over here. Let me grab the card. We made this on Monday, right? The pretty foil card. Happy spring, and then we made this one today. So from this to that. All right, my friends, there we have it, our Throwback Thursday video. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.